So first things first, you want to make sure you're air-gapped. Um, I should have mentioned this in the prior video, but I'm not making another take. Uh, basically, before booting into the live USB drive, you can disconnect your Ethernet or make turn off a little switch on your Wi-Fi adapter if it's a laptop thing or, I don't know, pull out the Wi-Fi card if you have a desktop with a Wi-Fi card. At least what you can do once you come in here is disconnect or make sure you disable networking. I've already disabled networking. Um, so you can just right click on that icon and disable networking. Okay, so now that networking is disabled, we're going to go into our file manager. And there's a way to do this all in the terminal, but um, this is the reason I use Ubuntu is because it has a GUI. All right, so go up. And you want to go to the CD-ROM drive because that's where our Monero files are. All right. So for further instructions, we'll double click on the Monero wallet generator. Okay, so now it's really just a matter of uh, following these instructions. Um, we're not gonna, we could use this as it is, um, but we want to verify this file first. So what we're gonna do is load up the terminal. Uh, we can do this with, by going there or hitting Control Alt T, I'm already here, so we'll do that. All right, so now we need to make our way to wherever that file is, and so we do. Oh, what the heck was it? CD-ROM Monero. Okay, so uh, CD-ROM Monero. All right, we're there, and so now we're going to. Uh, so CD means change directory. Um, that's an old DOS thing, and I guess it also works with uh, Lubuntu or Linux, whatever. Okay, so gpg import Monero. Is it there? Ah, okay. Well, all right. The stupid thing has added txt files to the end of this. I wonder if this will. Uh, well, let's see if it works. Okay. So, um, this Monero Moo at users and the reply at GitHub. That is right there. All right, so we have that key. Now we'll check the standalone signature. So we'll go verify, uh, verify Monero uh, generator HTML. We want the ASC, but remember, Windows put .txt at the end of it, so we have to add that as well. Um, See if that works. Okay, didn't work because I'm assuming that TXT at the end of it. So we'll do move Monero wallet. TXT to Monero wallet. All right. Pseudo in a live USB. I don't get it. Okay, so it did that. So it, we didn't have permission to do that. So if you tell it pseudo, which is super user do, but I like to think of it as pseudo chop because you're a Linux ninja. Um, yeah, then it let us do it. Okay, so we can go back to that same command we used by just hitting the up arrow. It'll cycle through our commands. So we'll get to this. And yeah, and we'll just delete the .txt. Yay! Awesome. All right. So blah blah blah. We have a good signature. So basically, um, this means that. 
the signature is fine. All right. And Yeah, that, that, that should be it. So now we know that this signature is fine. Um, so, well, we know the file is fine. This is the actual file that uh, Moneromu created. And so now we have <coughs> our address and our mnemonic seed. Okay. I'm going to see if I can pause this. But that's it. And so now you have a public address. And there's your mnemonic seed. So basically you would want to copy down this mnemonic seed. And you can use this to restore or make a new wallet that you get that access. Um, you could also, I mean, you can also copy these, but this will, or the uh, mnemonic seed will get you these things as well once you restore it in a real wallet. All right, so I'm going to copy this and put it in my play addresses. This is the offline. And here's the key. This is just to show you. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, save it. Yeah, overwrite it. Fine. Let's <sighs> oh, save it to the desktop. All right. So now I am going to log back online okay so I'm back online and of course um, you know I wouldn't I don't know if, if you would want to get back online in Linux you could go back to Windows or whatever at this point um, after you have your wallet but I want to assume that all your current Monero is at a uh, my Monero uh, account so I made a dummy account and I'm sure this address will be played with perhaps okay and I sent 1776 whatever XMR to this and so so that's there to play with and I will so I will send a transaction to that new offline address we made And I don't know. Let's send. What's another fun year that's less than 1776? Mm, 1492. Let's just do America. Non stop America. Alright. So now we'll send a transaction to there. So that's happening. Ah, oh, come on. Fine. Well, there's always, you know, the year 800. Well, that won't work. Year 80. Yeah, let's let's just do that. Come on. Good. Payment was sent. That tiny little bit of nonsense. Okay. Okay, so now what I've done is basically 
Uh, what we're going to do now is restore your offline wallet so you could then play with it if you wanted to. And this defeats the purpose of having it offline, but this is how you would actually access your account at some point down the line um, if you wanted to. Uh, so this is a recently compiled version of uh, Monero, but it would work with the the normal bins that are available for download, the normal binaries. So I always forget what the command is, so this dash H always helps because that means help. So we can do simple wallet restore deterministic deterministic no tab doesn't work there all right so that should do it wallet file name we'll call this uh, you know an arrow is great dot bin and I don't know, you know, well, I'm not going to give it a password. Alright, so now we want to grab the Electrum Seed. Ah! Where did I fail? Well, I'm going to... Son of a bitch. You know what? Let's just try copying and pasting, you know, because computers. And just so you know, pasting into Linux is done with shift insert. Um, stupid. No password. Yes, okay. So, there is our wallet. So, here's the 42 there's the 42 and so to prove it all works I'm going to start a refresh and of course this will take forever so I'm going to pause so this thing is still going I don't know if you're looking at the time I don't know how much time has passed but uh, yeah this is this is the reason why it costs 10 Monero to import your wallet on my Monero because it uses all one CPU thread and it takes forever. Also, just want to point out that, uh, yeah, this page is on your computer on this live USB thing, but um, and every time you refresh it, you're going to get a different bunch of addresses and mnemonic seeds. So, and apparently, you can't go back to get spend review keys, but you can keep getting new ones. I'm just burning addresses here. Burning addresses. Okay. Okay. Well, we finally refreshed and we got our 0.08 balance that I sent from the other wallet. And I think that wraps it up. I showed you how to make, uh, how to verify everything that you download, how to boot into a live USB. Um, how to make the address and then I proved that it actually worked so yep until next time exit